Okay. Hey guys, so this is gonna be my first ever vlog. <laughs> oh, bang. Okay, so hi guys. Um, I'll be doing my first vlog. This is gonna be my first vlog. It's about my graduation. And hopefully it goes well tomorrow because uh, I'll be speaking in front of a lot of people. So wish me luck. <laughs> the next day. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Today is my graduation day. But I'm happy. So we'll just have lunch out with my family. Okay, so we're going to Yamcha first to eat lunch. It's the 7 p.m. by you. Graduation, go. Oh, I'm going to So I'm back home, just finished lunch, and now we're gonna prepare for the graduation. Though it's for 7 p.m. on a month, but you know, it's gonna be traffic and stuff like that. So this graduation is my third graduation after high school. So I studied my high school, which is Grace Montessori School. I studied my bachelor's of nursing in Manila Tatana Colleges, and I finished it in 2015. And then I did my bachelor's degree in the University of Canberra as well in 2017. And now I just did my master's of acute nursing um, at Griffith University. So this is going to be my third toga. Yeah, so. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> So since it's my fourth graduation, I want to wear something na meron Filipino um, heritage. So I'll be wearing the kami so this is it. Medyo ka, ito yung panloob ko. So kami so the chino. And syempre, um, I want to thank Onisimus for my barong today. So yes. So yan siya. So ito yung susutin natin yung araw. Yeah. So diretso na po tayo sa kabao. <laughs> the one. First time I've worn it. Force? 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 <laughs> first time I've worn it. I've worn it. Yes, so my first time I've worn this barong was when I finished my bachelor's degree in the University of Canberra in 2017. The second one was last year when I was appointed as the Brisbane International Ambassador for the Philippines. The third time was when I represented Philippines in a cultural festival for like modeling stuff. And this year, yeah, graduation. So it's really worth it. Naman. And maganda pa naman siya eh. <laughs> Katapos lang natin maligo. Um, susunod natin gagawin ay i-eba. So, samahan nyo. <laughs> Then, tignan yan. Huwag na yan. Huwag na yan. Okay. Magpe-prepare na talaga ako.
nakadamit na ako. Uh, uh, si Tito. <laughs> <laughs> si Mami. Oh, sorry. Okay na. Alright, so today I am gonna be speaking in front of a lot of people. So I'm just gonna wait for Rita Walkner who's gonna help me get everything. Fake documents and then come down the ramp. Have you already received your testimony? No. No, so you're graduating today? Yeah. So then you'll go back through the archway over there, collect your real documents. Then everyone else will come back and go back to their seat, but you won't. You'll come all the way across down here and sit down in the seat here. Okay. I'll have a glass of water waiting for you. Oh, thank you. And then once everyone from the floor has crossed, I'll come and sit next to you. After everyone from the floor crosses the stage, then the PhDs graduate. Mm -hmm. They're sitting on stage. Once they've graduated, then it'll be you. And I'll lead you up. Um, the Master of Ceremonies will introduce you. You'll walk across to here. The Chancellor will be sitting in that chair. You'll dock to the Chancellor, so that's the right hand. Yep. And then you'll turn and deliver your speech. Would you like to practice? Yes, that would be great. Yeah. Thanks. Good afternoon, Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, administrative staff, fellow graduates, family, and friends. I feel honored to be standing in front of you here today. Okay, so ito na nagtatawag na pumapasok na mga graduates. Ayan na sila. Nagpapasok na sila. Yes. And I'll be seated. Here. Four. Lucky number. Four. Nakapang akong katabi. Tapos kaharap at lalay stage. Yes. Nakamahal talaga ako. Bismillah. Okay, tignan natin itong briefing na to. Student speaker's time. It's time. Yes. Hey, so I'm doing a vlog. I do it a vlog. Yeah, it's like a video vlog. <laughs> Alright, I'll take a photo. Be inspired. Be engaged. Be remarkable. Griffith University. Graduates, family and friends, welcome to the Griffith University graduation ceremony for graduates of Griffith Health. <laughs> Chancellor, I present graduates from Griffith Health who are to receive awards from the following programs. Master of Acute Care Nursing. So how to Good afternoon, Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, administrative staff, fellow graduates, family, and friends. I feel honored to be standing in front of you here today, delivering a speech that for some closes another important milestone in our lives the university life. Studying at a university is hard, but studying in a university away from your home makes it more difficult. 
Growing up in the Philippines where American culture is somewhat assimilated in our lifestyle, I thought moving to a Western country like Australia would be easy. But boy was I wrong. Words were different like rubbish from trash, chips from fries, and even thongs are worn here in a different part of the body. Aussie slangs have confused me big time as well. I thought sigi was food and makis was short for macarena. But aside from these different and confusing words and slangs, there was one part of myself that was always hesitant to disclose to the people I met here in Australia, and that is my religion. Even though I grew up in a Catholic country, I was raised in the Islamic faith, which a lot of people say bad things about. I grew up hearing harsh words in generalizing our faith, such as killers, murderers, and terrorists, to name a few. But as I grew older and learned my faith, I realized that no religion is responsible for terrorism. People are responsible for violence and terrorism. I mean, I've been born and raised in a faith which extremists and bigots call us the religion of war. And yet so far, I couldn't even kill a cockroach with a single shot. I brought my faith here to Australia and proudly assimilated it with the culture of this country. My fear of introducing myself as a Muslim vanished as I've met lovely people who didn't look at religion as a factor to divide and discriminate, but see it as an opportunity to learn from our differences and grow. We, Muslims, come in different sizes and colors. Just like everyone in this room, we have our own degrees, our own goals, our own stories, and no one in this room is the same. We might have a lot of differences, but there is one thing that we all have in common, and that is humanity. Humanity is what defines us all. Humanity closes the gap and allows inclusion from all walks of life. And we all know Griffith wants us all graduates to be remarkable. And to be able to leave a mark in this world, we should always strive for inclusion and not seclusion. Once again, graduates, congratulations on our amazing feat. The piece of paper we carry home today signifies not only our hard work paid off, but also the fruit of the support and guidance received from our family, friends, and academic staff. Aside from this, this certificate is for the people that we will be serving in the future. Chancellor, in closing, I am pleased to present to you with a donation to the Students' Future Fund. This, future, this fund supports students who are excelling at their studies but due to financial or personal hardships are struggling. Griffith is committed to providing more scholarships to those in need. Chancellor, on behalf of this graduating cohort, please accept this donation to the Students' Future Fund. We hope this will benefit future students in need at Griffith University. Thank you.
my certificate candles in, yes. Um, so, to end this day, I'm gonna eat my hangry jacks, of course. Um, my speech talks about, tackles um, about, you know, humanity, about each and every one of us has a role in this world for it to become better. Um, we all know that our world now is becoming, you know, chaotic, problematic, and it's just lovely how after I finished my um, my speech tonight, especially after the ceremony, when I went outside to meet my family, a lot of people, strangers actually, came to congratulate me and to thank me for my speech. Most of them actually. Um, my Muslim brothers and sisters, but there are also some people who from other religion who said that <coughs> my speech is actually inspiring. And for me, on in that you know one particular moment in my life, I feel like I did something really beautiful. You know, people actually appreciate what I've said, and and you know, it's not just on that ceremony. We can do it in our daily lives. Para sa akin, it all starts with us. Each one of us in this world has a role to make it a better one, a better one, a better role. And it's not good anymore. Yeah, humanity still does exist, and humanity is within us all. And you know, for us to have a better role, not just for ourselves, but all for the future generation, we should thrive for inclusion and not seclusion. Again, that's it for tonight, and I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. Um, this is my first vlog, so I know it's not gonna be perfect. I know it's like a PowerPoint presentation, but I hope that you um, stick with me up until this moment right here. And uh, again, this is Suhar Tijundam, Master of Acute Care Nursing, signing out.